Welcome back everyone, it's Big Al once again. Uh, this one here, this challenge lock, it's called Axle Requires Patience, and it's by uh, Fast Charlie. Uh, I didn't put a date, uh, but it is the uh, third, eight three. Um, I went ahead and uh, I'm gonna start this while this lock is in the open position, as you can see, because I'll tell you what, man, this is this is one of the uh, locks that um, Fast Charlie made. He made a whole set of them based on the uh, band members of Guns N' Roses. He named them after the band members. And uh, this was the last one that I have uh, from that set. And there's a reason for it. It's a real freaking tough lock. I'm going to lock it back up. Uh, there's the bidding on the key. And as you can see, I mean, it's got some pretty gnarly bidding. And the keyway is pretty tricky, man. So you can't, I don't know. What I'm having to do is actually um, pick up through the warding with a steep hook. That's pretty much what, well, it's pretty much how I have to do it. Because of the uh, extreme highs and lows there, um, you really can't go off of this side because you're going to overset something. So it's a real, real tricky one. That's why this is the... Uh, the last one out of that out of that group that um I've done yet. Okay, so enough blibber blabber. I'm gonna go with the top of the keyway again because that's what worked. And I'm gonna go um what did I do? Uh counter counterclockwise I think. Yeah we'll try that. Alright. Start timer just to keep track of things. I'm gonna start off again probably with this gem just to see if I can get something started. I can feel any of the pins this way and a little bit yep yeah man this thing is really tough no joke It's a tough cookie. All right, I'm gonna have to stop doing that. Uh, now I'm gonna go with this. Uh, this is one of the uh, SS Dev, the steep hook, because I'm gonna have to go up, like I said, through that warding and try and manipulate the pins that way. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's a treat. <laughs> It is not, uh, not straightforward. Okay, there went, I think, that last one, which would probably be six. I think. We'll see. I mean, just getting on them and, well, okay, there, okay, that did not happen the first time around. <laughs> I got a false set. Now, that might be bad, though. Because now I'm going to have to try to get, uh, okay, we got some counter right here. And I think it's counter. Let me make sure I'm on that pin right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think I got one. I hope. Lost some of that turn, though. I'm telling you, man, this thing's had me, set me back for a while. I've tried it a few times before and uh, just didn't have any luck on it. All right, going to the back again, coming back out. Okay, I got some counter here on, uh, let me see if I can get on it again. Oh man, look how deep that is. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, that's not open either. Oh man. <laughs> Alright, we got, oh, maybe it's here on, is it one? No, 
I think it just has me going back and forth in circles. Alright, moving on. Yeah, I missed it somewhere big time. Let's see if I can get one to talk to me. Well, Come on, baby. Is that you? Felt like it. There we go. Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this thing... This thing's been kicking my arse for so long. So many times it set me back. All right, we didn't do too bad on that. All right, let me, uh, good golly. Oh, all right. Bada boom, bada bing. Don't do nothing stupid, Al. All right, back out. Uh, get it out of here. That's a badass lock right there, uh, Fast Charlie. Badass. All right, bring the camera down over here. Yeah, just freaking phenomenal, man. Okay, so obviously we're very much open. Uh, we do have a key, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, lock it back up. Bada boom, bada bang. Uh, grab a pin and tray here. Off the top. Man, freaking awesome. You know what? Uh, yeah, we'll go with this. Uh, got a... See if my new tool will work on this one. Man. course not just spins around and around all right so we'll go with uh, maybe these uh, nope it's buried there's like a lip well maybe I can get under that and just pop it out Yep. Jacked up that little ring that's on there, though. That's all right. Doesn't need to be there. It's just to hold that uh, little thing for if you're actually using it in a door or a knob. Okay. Bada boom, bada bang. Uh, key. Man. bad boys in there okay tweezers follower pin should be over here on my side yep alrighty bada boom bada bang put that back up there all six chambers occupied and it looks like all of, oh, might have an overset trap. Yep. Yes, sir. Like I was saying, that's why I couldn't go off that ledge. All right, get them laid out. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, flip duties, flip duties, flip. Uh, looks like that can go either way almost. We'll say like that. Oh yeah, like that. Okay. We're good. Alright. Specs. 
And let's see what we got on the core real quick. We've got uh, undercutting, it looks like, in two and uh, four. And then threading in three, five, and six. And then we got this crazy uh, cutaway right here. Cross cut. I don't know what you call that. Let me see if we can get that on picked up good here. Picking that up good. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Bada boom, bada bang. Uh, upstairs. Shim. It's already out. X marks the front. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. Drunken spool in number one. Right off the bat. There's the, uh, dead spool part of it I guess and here's the uh, little uh, I guess push pin you might call that the other half of the drunken spool combobulation number two we've got a oh yeah like a cone spool action yeah I know there's nastiness all up in this thing cuz uh, uh, looks like a nice little short guy yeah, makes sense because there's that really long key pin in that one. And a different kind of spring. Looks like different springs all through so far. Um, again, one of those like uh, uh, cone shaped spools, almost like those. Um, golly, what am I thinking of? The uh, pellet looking pins. Alright, spring. Bada boom, bada bing. And six will be the last one on this side. Alright, fine, yeah. Uh, heavily serrated. Well, actually, lightly serrated, but many of them. And yet another different spring. I think every one of those springs are different on that thing. Which is freaking awesome, no wonder. And I'm not seeing no mods to the uh, Bible. I'm not seeing nothing in there. Okay, badass. Badass. Uh, let's see, axle requires patience, fast charging. Bada boom, bada bing. That goes up. And pointer. Axel Requires Patience by Fast Charlie. Thank you so much, Fast Charlie. He sent it to me too, so that was freaking awesome. All right, flatten down to see the pins real good. And go right over. And we're good, right? Should be. Okay, we've got a uh, standard key pin in one. Kind of a uh, serrated y spooly combobulation in two. Uh, multi serrated in three. So, uh, call that serrated in four. Same in five, and then it reduces down on the top. And then uh, six uh, serrated. And then drivers drunken spool in one. Uh, two is like that cone shaped uh, spool. Three is a little short standard. Four another cone spool. Five standard, and six is uh, multi serrated. And these springs, I gotta tell you, uh, I don't see a pair in this uh, bunch here. They all look different. So each one is gonna give you a different uh, tension on there, you know? Which is freaking awesome. Well, well planned out, well thought out, well done, all around, fast Charlie. Very cool. All right, you guys, uh, that's what we got. Big Al, signing off.